Hello, I'm Reginald Bullock, and I am the author of this book, It's All About the Hustle. Since I'm suited and booted, I figured I'd take an opportunity and record a video. So chapter one, the hustle, have a purpose. You know, they say that the two most important dates are the date that you're born and the date you find out why. What's your purpose? And I hit it hard in this book. Also, subchapter in chapter one of The Hustle is choice. We all have choices. We are a product of the books we read and the people we associate with. So what are the choices that we are making to do what we do? And are we satisfied with that? Are you really satisfied with who you are and your choices? If not, <laughs> make some other choices. The hood, in the hood. So I wrote this book from a different perspective, right? If you haven't noticed, I'm a black man. I've read Stephen Covey. I have read uh, John Maxwell. I've read lots of books from a lot of different cultural perspectives. And many of those books I've learned a lot from. But it would have been really nice for me to read some of those books that truly resonate with my culture. So I put in this chapter here, the hood, because I come from the hood, and so do many other people. And I just want them to be able to also read a book that feels like it resonates with them also. And it's not just talking um, culturally past them, but it's hitting them right in the heart based on their upbringing and what they can relate to. Industrious, you have to be industrious. You know, just don't be a one-trick pony doing one thing. I was in the Air Force, but while I was in the Air Force, I was also a tailor. I sewed patches on for people, uh, their stripes. I tailored their shirts. Um, I was a DJ, and I had a home improvement company. And so I was getting my hustle on. I was industrious while I was in the Air Force. The salary that I was making as a E4 and E5 was not enough for me to be able to take care of my family the way I wanted to take care of my family. If I just relied on that Air Force paycheck, then you know we would not have been living the way I wanted for my family to live. So I got my hustle on, and I was very industrious. I remember my first check when I came into the Air Force. Uh, I came in in May 1982, but the check that I'm referring to was in September 1982, $264 every two weeks as an E3. So I needed to get my hustle on. And I say that because many of you can relate, right? Your salary, your paycheck that you make is not enough for you to do the things you want to do. Well, get two or three checks, get four checks, get your hustle on. And then new options. Um, the new options are, in today's time with the internet, there's so many options out there where 12 year olds are going viral, 17 year olds are buying their mother a house because they're able to monetize their intellectual property and their capability and their talents. So this book is all about the hustle is real. And I want to talk about sales enablement and, and other things for the executives out there. I used to be director of business capture uh, I've been in the consulting world, and so I want to get out there and help folks get their hustle on. But for now, I hope what I just told you is helpful. I'm Reggie B. saying get your hustle on.